exalt your name, hallelujah. You're worthy, King Jesus. Lion of the tribe of Judah, God, you are lifted high. You rule, you reign, you have dominion and authority, God. There's no God like you in all the earth. Father, we magnify your great name. Our souls make it boast in you, O God. The humble should hear thereof and be glad. And God, we just praise you right now for your majesty. You're exalted, O God. You rule, you reign, you have dominion and authority. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to your name, O Most High. You are the rock of ages, God. You're everything we need, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. God, we lift you up today, God. We exalt the Lord our God. We worship at its footstool. God, you reign in majesty and dominion, power and authority. It's at your exposal, God. Father, we are your vessels, and we come before your awesome presence saying thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and mercy bestowed upon us another day. Lord God, in the midst of a pandemic world, Father God, where things are happening all around us, God, yet your grace has been sufficient. Your presence has been a shield round about us because we trust in you, Lord God, to be the security of our lives. Lord, I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit working in our lives to will and to according to your good pleasure. Lord, you are glorified. You're high and you're lifted up, O oh God. And we bless your name today, O oh God, because it's about you, O oh God, being lifted up in the midst of the storms and the trials and tests that comes our way. For greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And Father, I thank you. I thank you for your goodness, God, that draws men to repentance, God. I thank you, O oh God, that because of your mercies, we're not consumed. If you were to mark our transgressions, who would be able to stand in your presence? But because of your grace, in your mercy, God. You gave us another opportunity to come boldly before the throne of grace to obtain mercy and help in a time of need. And God, I thank you that this is the victory we have in you, oh God, the confidence we have. Well, we ask in your name, God, that you would do. We praise your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah, God. We want to hear your voice roar that the enemy would flee from us, God. We want to see your power moving inside of our lives that the sick would be raised off their bed of affliction. That, Father God, those who are bound with addictions and habits and strongholds are being set free. That the word of God, Father God, is ministering to their hearts to break the shackles off their minds, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you, oh God, that you're faithful to your word, God. You're faithful every time we call upon you to answer, God. This to answer us according to your will, Father. Let your will be done on today, oh God. I thank you, God, for your grace and your truth, oh God, in our lives today, God. Father, we bow our hearts to you, God. We're no longer holding back, God, but we're yielding ourselves to you, God, that you would be glorified in the midst of everything we do, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you for this afternoon, God. I thank you for the movement of the Spirit of the living God. I thank you for the anointing, God, waxing stronger and stronger each and every day, oh God, in our lives. As we have ears to hear your voice speaking to us, oh God, that we obey your commands, we obey your word. We walk in authority against the powers of the enemy in our lives. We stop making excuses, God. The reason why we can't go to church, oh God, but we can go everywhere else but church. God, convict our hearts today. Whatever's in our lives, whatever's in our lives, it's not like you, God, that you break it now by the Spirit of the living God, that you will be glorified in the midst, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we need your power. We need your power to work in our lives, God, that you tear down strongholds, break the chains, bind the devil in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you as we're standing firm in the faith of Jesus Christ, that greater is he that's, that's in us than he that's in the world. Have your way in us, O God, in Jesus' name. You are the Lord of glory. You are the Prince of peace. You are the everlasting Father. And we need you, Father God, to move in our lives like never before, God. Father, so many times we get caught up in the things of the world, but your word tells us, Father God, to walk not in the flesh. Do we not fulfill the desires of the flesh, O God, but to walk in the Spirit that we, Father, be obedient to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father God, for your glory being revealed in our lives. 
arrives, oh God. Every day, your power, your manifestation of your glory moving in our lives, oh God. Father, help us to see you in every situation, every circumstance, every test that we go through, God. That we help help us to see you, Father. Grow Sharabase, moving God in our lives to perfect the thing that concerns us, God. Father, we thank you for the victory, God, in Christ Jesus, who conquered all of our foes, oh God. And he led us, Father God, triumphantly over the power of the enemy in our own mindsets, oh God. Father, break, Father God, the strongholds today off our minds of resistance, of rebellion, of stubbornness, of pridefulness, God. Break it now, God, in Jesus' name. We bind the devil, God, his cohorts right now in Jesus' name. Every influence, every negative attack, every negative circle, God, that try to surround us, God. Every captivity in which try to bind us, God, we cast it back to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. We lose the anointing, God, to manifest in our lives that you would be glorified. Father, have your way in us on today, oh God. I thank you. That you give us ears to hear your voice, to be sensitive to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, that you, God, will have your way in our lives. God, we need you. We're living in a time where people are falling away, Father, because they're drifting from the faith, oh God. They're getting caught up in the things of the world, Father God, and becoming lovers of men instead of lovers of God. And Father, we ask that you draw us back, God. As your word tells us, Father God, let us rend our garments. Lend, rend our hearts and not our garments, God, to give you what you want. That's our hearts, oh God. You said in your word, Proverbs 4, 23, we're to guard our hearts. For out of it flows the issues of life. God, the course of life is set by the issues in our heart, oh God. Let us be filled with your presence, God. Be filled with your presence, God. Be filled with your presence, God. That you fill the tabernacle of our hearts, oh God. That you move everything out of the way, God, that you would lead the way. That you would sit on the throne of our hearts, oh God, having dominion and authority in our lives. And we thank you, oh God. We speak healing, God, over my niece Erin right now, God. We speak deliverance in her body, even for the baby, Lord God, that's in her womb, oh God. We speak healing, God, that the anointing will flow in her direction, God, to touch her in a supernatural way that you will be glorified, God. I thank you, Father God. As we stand in faith, where two or three gather in your name, God, we're believing, God, that the same power, God, that raised up, Father God, Jairus' daughter, when she was dead, Father, raised her up to life. You can do it, God. Have your way, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we believe, oh God. I lift up Pastor Lewis, God. I pray that you continue to refresh, revive, strengthen. Heal this body, God. Whatever's going on in inside that's not of you, God, that's called to be afflicted, God, we bind it in Jesus' name. We loose the anointing salve of the Spirit to manifest in his body. You will be glorified, God. And I thank you for the victory in Christ Jesus. The testimony is being built right now, God, in Jesus' name, that you are being glorified. And I thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. For many others who need your healing, God, right now, that you touch them, Father, in a supernatural way. They will sense your presence like never before, God, covering their minds and their hearts, oh God, that you're being glorified in the midst of everything they're going through, God, to bring them out victoriously, God. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brother, my friend. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. I just feel the Spirit of God leading me to come on live this afternoon. To encourage God's people. There's so much going on in our lives. And the devil is really working hard against the people of God. To bring them to a place of defeat, failure, and unbelief. But God is encouraging us today to come back to him. Return to the Lord. And he will abundantly pardon. In Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Verse 11. It says, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? This talking about the judgment of God that's coming upon God's people because of rebellion. God's army is strong. God's army is, is fearful against the enemy. And when we come together in one accord, the Lord utters his voice 
and his army hears his voice and we are strong because of the word of God and we have to stand with the word to keep us encouraged every day of our lives no matter what we go through no matter what comes our way the Lord is terrible it says the Lord is terrible he's powerful he spoils principalities. He stripped the enemy of his, of his attacks that comes against you. He gives you the victory. Then it says, therefore, verse 12, also says the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your hearts and with fasting and with weeping and mourning. This is a cry that God is calling out for the people of God to respond to in the place of repentance. He's calling us back to the place where we hear his voice to turn to him with all of our hearts with fasting and with weeping and mourning, begin to labor before God. God is bringing us, kind of get us back to the place of consecration where nothing else would matter in our lives but seeking his faith for who he is, trusting in his word and allowing the spirit of God to release us, to walk in our purpose for purpose for the kingdom of God. But there are so many different people in the body of Christ are stubborn. They're prideful. They're resisting God. They're feeding their flesh and not their spirit. And God is saying, return to me. Return to me. Come back to the place of consecration. Come back to the place where you hear his voice calling you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Allow the spirit of God to manifest in you to give you the strength to stand and the ability to keep moving forward in the promises of his word. I tell you, when you do that, God himself will show up in a supernatural way to manifest his power like never before. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And verse 13 said, rend your heart. That means to rend means to tear. It means to rip to pieces your heart and not your garment. God wants you to be broken. He wants you to come broken. Come in a place of servitude, surrenderance. Come with your heart being turned towards the Lord. And he says, and not your garment, which is your clothing. God don't want your materialistic things. He wants your heart to turn to him. And it says the Lord is gracious and merciful. That's God's grace and his mercy that covers us. David declared in Psalm 23, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life that we we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that's what God is saying, that when you get to the place in yourself where you receive his mercy and his grace, God is, is going to draw you back to himself like nothing before. He said, for Lord is gracious and merciful and slow to anger and great of, and of great kindness. Great, he has an abundance of kindness. When we deserve judgment, we deserve punishment. God is kind towards his people and it says, repented him of the evil. And that's talking about when his conditions are met. When you meet God's conditions, his expectations, God says he's slow to anger towards you, even when you mess up and make mistakes. God says, I'm still here for you to draw you to myself, that you would know that I am the Lord God who called thee out of your dry places. Somebody is in a place of the wilderness. Some, somebody is in a place of barrenness. Well, you're not bearing fruit in your life. But God says today, when you get back in right standing and you meet the requirements God is expecting you to do, God will cause blessings of favor rain upon your life that no matter what you are expecting God to do, that he will do according to his will. And then verse 14 says, who knoweth if he would turn, return, and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. So this is what God is talking about, sacrifice. He says he will even leave you a sacrifice that on the altar, the thing that you give to him, God said he will give back to you because you gave to him what he expected you to give in a drink offering. Begin to drink of the blood of Jesus today. Begin to eat of the flesh of Jesus Christ. That you have your communion, your connection with Christ for eternity. That no matter what you go through in this life, nothing will hinder your relationship from being tightened and walking in right standing, righteousness with God, that you would get give God the glory for all the benefits that probably has given you every day. God keeps on doing great things for us. And all he's looking for us is a heart that's surrendered, a heart that's yielded, a heart that's released unto him, that he can fill with his presence, that he would be glorified. 
That's a word that God has given me this afternoon. I have to share. Somebody's going to see this later on today. And I pray that it encourages, enriches them, and also bring conviction and change to the lives of those who hear this word. That would draw them back to the place of their servitude to the Lord Jesus Christ to walk in their purpose for purpose and allow God to let this be a great day for you because we are, are, are walking in divine order. We're living in the last days and God is calling for excellency to come out of his children. That you do what Paul says in Ephesians 4, chapter 4, verse 1. I beseech you, brethren, therefore, that you walk worthy of your vocation. Well, with ye have been called. God called you. You said God called you. You believe God called you. Then you need to walk as one who's been redeemed, one that's been called out of the world into the light of truth. And then you walk with a purpose. Stop making excuses to not go in fellowship with other believers because of the things of the flesh. God says, today, I'm calling you back. I'm calling you out of your wilderness. I'm calling you out of your waywardness. I'm calling you out of captivity to return to the Lord that he will abundantly pardon you and restore you back into the right place when you need him, that you will fall in love with Jesus all over again, that God will fill your heart with his presence. God bless you. Stay excited about Jesus on today. And Father, I pray that whoever hears this word today, Father God, will be convicted to change, convicted to Father God to want to live in right standing, right relationship with you, Father God. And let go of the excuses. Let go of people who, who may be in their circle that doesn't mean them any good. The Father, always are uh, uh, negative. And, and, and Father, always walking by the enemy's mentality, Father God, to demise your character, your integrity. You keep standing with the full armor of God. Give them the power to stand with the full armor of God to stand against all the schemes of the devil. We give you glory, give you honor, give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You stay excited about Jesus. Put a smile on your face today. Know that God is on your side because he loves you. He cares about you. And greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Shalom. Peace be unto you. Well-being and prosperity may it fill your heart with every desire being fulfilled by the Spirit of the living God. Have an awesome day on Purpose for Purpose.